Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did two looks for you. One was more of a conventional cut crease eye that you could wear. It is still full on but it was more neutral tones and I kept it more matte and basic. Whereas this look that I'm wearing now is covered in highlight. Like I've got pink glow on my cheeks, on my forehead. I've got a glitter liner cutting my crease and I've got metallic lips. So I am literally covered in glitter and highlight and I feel fabulous. If you wanna know how I achieved both of these looks, then please keep on watching. Always before starting my makeup, I always moisturize and I used my favorite moisturizer, the Ole Henriksen. I really don't know if I'm saying that right, but I use this all the time. It's a sheer transformation. Um, it just sinks straight into the skin. It's beautiful. Um, it makes the skin so soft and supple. I love it. And I also use the Napoleon Purtis Auto Pilot pH Lip Shine. And this just really makes the lips really moist and it helps to moisturize them for lipsticks that you want to apply later. So now that we're all moisturized, I'm going to apply the Locket Eyeshadow Primer and this is a color correcting eyeshadow primer by Kat Von D. And this is in the color medium. So I'm just applying this to my whole eyelid all the way up to the brow. And you wanna work quickly with this because it dries really quick, which is good because your eyeshadow is gonna stay for a very long time. So you just wanna work that in with your fingers, the heat of your fingers will help it to blend out better. I'm also going to apply that to the blemishes and redness on my face because it's yellow, it's gonna cancel out the darkness. So watch these things disappear. Can you even see that? They should literally just come out with a color correcting pencil. So today I've sat down to film and I'm planning to film a cut crease because I haven't filmed one in a very, very long time. Um, but I want it to be a proper cut crease. So I am going to do that. But I'm also feeling really creative. Like my creative juices are flowing right now. So I might do your classic cut crease and then do a sort of non-conventional cut crease so there'll be two looks in this hopefully hopefully I don't change my mind last minute and I'm just like oh I can't be bothered but I'm feeling creative and I'm feeling motivated so let's do this so for a perfect cut crease it's obviously about very strong and sharp lines so to achieve that today I'm going to use some tape mine is pink and I'm just going to tape off my eye where the wing is going to go. So I'm just going to look down in the mirror and line off my eye and I want it to match up with my lower lash line. I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills today and I'm going to start off with this color Tempera and I'm going to apply that on the eyelid. I'm using a Zoeva Classic Shader 232 brush. I'm just doing this as a base, but obviously the cut crease, you want it to be super duper cut. So once we've blended it out, I will be cleaning it up again. So to start off the cut crease, I really want it to be super duper blended. So I'm gonna use raw sienna and I'm gonna blend that out in the upper crease. To do this, I'm using a 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush by Zoeva. So you really just want to follow your natural crease line. And don't worry if it's getting messy on the lid. You are going to clean that up later. The next color we're going to go in with is this color here. And this is Warm Taupe. And I'm just going to concentrate that right in the crease. 
So this is really just all about building up colors and making that gradually go from light to dark. So what I'm going to do now is create that really sharp crease line. And to do that, I'm using this color here, Cypress Umber. And I'm using a Revlon eyeliner brush to do this. And then just taking a small pencil E30 brush, we're just gonna blend out those edges. So this is where those two transition shades really help because it just literally helps that really dark shade melt into it. And you can't see where it starts or where it stops. Now that we're cutting the crease, I'm using that same shadow, Tempera, and I'm using a concealer brush from Revlon. And I'm just going to wet the brush with some Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. So I've got to look really close in the mirror for this. So next I'm going to line my eyes and I'm using Zoeva's Black Box Calligraphic. Calligraphic. I think that's how it's meant to be said. But this is the liquid eyeliner in black. And this is their new liner. Ooh, looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take raw sienna and run that along the lower lash line. I'm using the pencil brush to do this. Next I'm using the pencil Carnat, yeah Carnat from Zoeva and this is a soft coal pencil and it's a gorgeous beige shade. This is going on the inner rim, sorry for the unflattering view. Okay so I'm just going to apply some mascara, just a light coat so that my lashes are coated with mascara before I put on false lashes. And I'm using Own It by Napoleon Purtis. So I'm just going to apply some falsies now. And this is See Through by Velour. I'm obsessed with this style. Love it, love it. I'm not going to swear, but these lashes are the best. Seriously, my favorite style. I'm just like in awe of how good they look. I forgot to tell you what I'm doing, so I'm just curling my lashes to the false lashes and this would just help to lift the eye so that the lashes aren't like sticking downwards so now that the lashes are on i'm going to finish off the eyes with a coat of mascara on the bottom lashes for foundation today i'm using the ultra hd foundation by makeup forever this is in the color 140 So to highlight and contour today, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in 20. I'm just going to use that same concealer brush from Revlon, the first color. And just apply that there, just because I feel like there's a bit of darkness. that shade there and this is a RC Cosmetics brush. So what look wouldn't be complete without baking? You know I love my baking. And I'm using Laura Mercier's Invisible Loose Setting Powder. And this is in a universal color because it's obviously translucent, so there's no color that transfers to the skin. So I feel like my face looks really funny right now, not just because of the powder, but I don't have any brows on it. So I'm going to use Goof Proof by Benefit. So first I brush the brows up Woods. So with Goof Proof, I like to trace the brow 
because it's angled it actually gets a really precise line. So now that they're filled in, I like to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil and clean up any lines. So I just like to feather the front part so that it looks more natural. So next we're using Gimme Brow and I'm in the colour 3. I thought that was the step but it's actually the colour. So I'm just using Gimme Brow to run that through the brows, give them a bit of volume and help them stay in place. And now to help everything look super clean, I'm using High Brow by Benefit just to highlight underneath the brow and to clean up any mistakes. Okay, now that the brows are done, I'm just going to brush off that powder. To do this, I'm using a tapered face F25 brush by Sigma. So I'm going to highlight and I've got the new Glow Kit, the Sweets one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but when it arrived, it came broken. But I can't wait to try it. So I'm going to use the colour Butterscotch and this is the one that's broken. I'm also using the brush A23. I'm now just going to bronze up the face with my favourite powder by Givenchy. It's the Healthy Glow Powder in 03. So I'm now going to contour my face with the Surat Beauty Artistic blush and I'm not sure what color it is I always forget but I will let you know. The brush that I'm using is the 132 Luxe Powder Finish Brush and I'm just really getting it in the contour area there. So for lips, I'm using the new Hydra Matte Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick and this is in Mile High. This colour is actually my lips but better. So you can stop here if you wanted to have a more wearable cut crease. I mean, it is pretty full on still but it is more wearable than what I'm going to do next. So if you like this look, then you can stop here, but the fun starts now. So I got this really cool glittered eyeliner, and this is from Shuramura. Okay, so I've also got the Moon Child palette by Anastasia and I want to use one of these. I think I might use Pink Heart. Yes. And I might just put the tiniest little dot in the inner corner of that liner. Then I'm going to go into the Sweets palette and mix Taffy and Sassy Grape. I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. I'm literally that meme. You know that meme where it's like, you get a new highlighter and it's a person covered, like literally head to toe in highlighter. And then if I'm not already glowing to the gods, I'm going to apply Pure Pigment 82 to the middle of my lips. This is by Ingla. So I hope you guys enjoyed both looks today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the description bar below which look you would rock. Would you rock the more classic cut crease, still full on, I know, 
look or would you go for the covered in highlight look? Let me know and I'll see you next time.